get in the game. Speed, capacity, all in one drive. Seagate SSHD. Hello and welcome to the second round of the 2016 Bosra MSA GT3 Championship from Sibring International. My name's Jason Dilworth and I'm joined here by Alan McCain to bring you commentary on this highlights video. First up qualifying, in 10th we had Simon Underhill racing for Synology. In 9th, Alan McCain racing for Motorsports Auctions. 8th was Lee Bunker, he's a privateer. 7th, Tobias Soltau, also a privateer. And 6th, Suve Rand, racing for Seagate. And then 5th, uh, we have Jason Delworth racing for Acorn. And 4th, we have Paul Wamsley. 3rd is ben Benjamin Hackerson. 2nd is... Tony Baird and in first Daniel Turk. Let's see how this all goes. Yeah, so by the time we'd got down to the first slow corner, I'd already had some sort of connection issue and had an exciting race, so it'll be interesting to see how it starts for everyone else. And off they go. Daniel off to a storming start, and who's that? Is that Paul having a slow one? No, I think that's Benjamin. Yeah, I think you're right. Other than that, uh, pretty clean through the first turn. And Daniel pulling away almost instantly down to the first hard braking zone. Phil Gregory here. Straight down the uh, long straight here. Has a bit of an issue, I think, under braking. Oh, we have contact. Does indeed. I think he collected quite a few there. Yeah, who was in the red car that he's collected there on the way through? We got another on board here from Jonathan Beresford. Yeah, you can see uh, he just touches the grass under braking and collects at Catch, least one. Catch, I think he catches uh, Simon. And That's unfortunate continues on behind Chris Butterill. Then we're on board with Simon. Simon Underhill. Oh, Lee he Bunker. Touches Lee that? Bunker, yeah, on the way through. If I remember right, Simon had a bit of a worrying first lap. That's the first bit of it. As you see, well, uh, I think this is him now. There's no, yeah. Yeah, does he clip that inside barrier there and that's just that's stuck, yeah, all out of shape. And then he a heavy, heavy hit on the barrier, pit lane. Good thing there is that he is in the pit lane at least, so he can turn it round. He'll probably get an unsafe entry, just stick it straight in there for the first of his first repairs. Van Delden has stuck it in the wall, just lost the rear end. I don't think he's very well, very heavily damaged. I think he'll just he'll continue on. I think it's Ian Robson, but yeah, he's uh, taken a big hit there. And we've got Chris Butterill on Simon Jackson here. Jackson runs wide. Yeah, I think Chris has just put him off a little bit. And uh, under braking, he's just missed his marker and gone wide. No, that's... That, that's this was very weird. <laughs> oh, must, yeah. be the, must be the Sebring bug. Uh, the wall apparently sticks out. And you collect it every now and again. <laughs> I think that was the only, the only car that happened with. Uh, I've never seen that happen before, but it'd be interesting to hear what he thought of that. That's uh, a crazy one. Anyway, how did you see this? I think... Uh, Martin Brandon had moved across to let Van Delden pass and, and we hadn't realised you know, uh, Fabian was in the inside. Yeah, and then here's another interesting one. Phil, going up the inside of... Uh, is it Daniel Bailey? 
maybe David Bailey, sorry to you if I've got that wrong. Touches him on the inside on the way through. On board with Dave Rowland here. Now he was having massive connection and performance issues down to 30 odd frames per second. Didn't get any incidents for that. Yeah, I think there's a, another another time he uh, completely was all was bouncing all over the, the track, and how he didn't get a, an, an an incident point is un, is unbelievable. And here's us. It's uh, on board with Alan following with me following. I got a real real bad run, and I wasn't going to challenge. It was too early in the race. Just thought I'll stick stick with you and try and try and stick with you and get my lap times built built up. Yeah, I thought I was definitely going to overshoot there and be vulnerable into turn one, but um, managed to keep it together. Very respectful from you there. I I just couldn't get the 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 entrance into turn one correct at all. Kept running too deep in the exit. Yeah, it's one of those ones where there isn't really a braking marker, it's just a habitual one for me. And here's uh, Mr. Beresford. We unfortunately see him a couple of times in this video. Um, he's lost it there on the exit of the last corner and I've done this so many times, just got that wrong, straightening up. Yeah, I think he's having slight problems with his equipment, but uh, I think that'll be sorted within the next week or two. Well, that'll be good for him, definitely. Continues on his merry way. And we follow Lee. Up alongside Simon Jackson and then misjudges it, unfortunately, and ends up right in the barrier with a very heavy hit. Unfortunate for both of them, but Lee's definitely come off a lot worse in that one. Mr. Bareford goes for another spin. Out of that last corner again, he's not having much luck there, but uh, he's beating that motorsports auctions car up a little bit, but uh, takes it into the pits to take advantage of one of the fast repairs we have here. And here's Mr. Van Delden following Dave Rowland, and I think we're going to see a little bit of that connection issue you were talking about earlier. Yeah, I think you're correct there. They are already having a bit of a bit of an age on the BMW down the straights. Yeah, it's an interesting track this one for showing up the differences in the cars. Big high speed bits for the Audi and then the uh, BMW shows off its strengths through the slower corners. Here we start seeing Dave just disappearing off the track and that can be quite scary when you're driving not knowing where they're going to be up here and there he is luckily out front and nothing goes wrong. Which is a positive. <laughs> Very much so. You've got Sobe Rand. I think he actually clipped the grass there while he was on the brakes. He did, yeah. Sent them into the spin. Yeah, just going around the back marker and uh, misjudged his braking there, I think. We've got a recovering Simon Underhill here, chasing and also recovering. Phil Gregory driving for Synology and Bodin Solutions respectively making the same move that we'd had earlier on in the race and one that seemed popular throughout the race keeps it nice and clean but there's uh, Rolf don't call him Ralph just sticking it in the barrier there as he goes past There's quite a few having, having this issue of collecting the, the inside barrier or the outside barrier this corner so. yeah, it's such a slippery one they were lucky uh, not to collect anyone else on the way through there I think yeah I think that's correct yeah nobody's perfect <laughs> Yeah, 
Simon Jackson here just putting the finishing touches on that uh, bonnet. It was, that was me. It was coming behind him. Uh, it was for possession. I had pit it early and I was slowly closing him in. And I think it, the pressure just got to him in the end. He just overcooked his breaking a wee bit. Woodhouse here having a bit of a spin. Unfortunate, but doesn't collect anyone else, so that's very useful and very respectful on the way through. Speaking of respectful, uh, there's uh, Dave White there in the yellow car. And we've gone on board with him there. He's not the quickest guy, I don't think he'll mind me saying that, but massively respectful when being uh, lapped by faster cars. Yeah, I'll have to get. I'll give it to him. Now he is. He's one of the more. I uh, wouldn't say easier, but he's one of the more compliant uh, drivers to overtake when you're lapping them. Absolutely. Uh, don't want to see people sticking it in the barrier, but he's very good at what he does. Hope he gets faster over time. Yeah, I think. I think uh, if it was, was somebody was to take him on and give him a few pointers and. Help him along. I think he'll become a lot, become one of one of the the good great good drivers of Bosra. Not that we have any bad drivers. <laughs> no, just some. Just a few. Just, just a few. Uh, that can be reckless from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> here we, we got all that. We got that Honey Smith here, who seems to have the opposite problem. He's very quick, as you can see from his fastest lap times, but doesn't seem to have that consistency yet to keep it out of the barriers. Maybe just needs to slow himself yeah, down. I think it's, it's just too eager. I think is his problem. Too eager to try and get up the field a bit. But it'll, it'll come during through time. Absolutely. And now we're we're on board with Ben chasing up uh, Paul. Ben driving the Seagate level read car following the privateer and they have a great battle up here i was following this from a little way back uh, and i could see them but not catch them and they were having a really great close clean battle really good to see simon and rolf having a good battle Yeah, that same move that we've seen a couple of times so far this race. The difficulty here is you get to the end of this long, long straight and you're on the inside. It's not where you normally are. You've got to judge your braking perfectly to get through this really bumpy last corner and get a good exit to stay in front. It's done a great job there. You say Beresford again and I, I hope it's not going to be another altercation, but... There it is. Unfortunately, drives into the, the, the side. Jonathan, Jonathan has has no luck. He, he, he's a great personality. He's a steady driver, but just the luck was not with him. Speaking of bad luck, there's uh, Tony Baird going into the side of a car that he was lapping. I don't know who the other one was, but he's had a real bit of bad luck there. They've both misjudged it. And he loses the place to Ben as uh, Ben comes through under braking for the next corner. He'd have been kicking himself for that, that's for sure. Ian Robson a wee bit eager in the, the throttle there. Sent him wide into the barrier. I think, he, I think he returns to the pits and gets another fast repair. <laughs> Only two of them available, but uh, here we are, following uh, Lee Bunker. Some great racing here. Yeah, I think it is. Side by side through this section is not easy at all. They've both done a great job of keeping it on the track just shows that uh, there's some great battles all the way through the field here and fills me with excitement for the rest of this series but definitely the 2017 main GT3 series that we're here for yeah I can't I can't, I can't wait personally it's 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 going to be good <laughs> So 
So Bayrand here following a, a few cars there, but gets it wrong. Unfortunately, sticks it in the barrier and has to pit it again. And then here we're on board with uh, Van Delden. Gives Neil Bamber a little kiss on the back there as he was going through. Nothing malicious. They had a good laugh about it afterwards. I think uh, you'll find at the end of the race there's there's quite a quite a bit of damage to both cars, but as you say, they all had good fun, which is the main thing. Absolutely, close racing. Other than that, as well. This is about two thirds of the way through the race, and then we skipped through to the last lap to watch uh, Daniel Twerk there coming out of the last corner. An absolutely commanding win to take two from two. Flashes the headlights across the line. And um, Neil and Van Delden uh, passed myself in the last lap as I was fuel saving because I was going to run out if I hadn't. Uh, they moved up two places. Well, that's it from uh, the second round at Sebring. Next up, we've got Bosra MSA GT3 Championship from Donington Park. That's in a couple of weeks, beginning of August. Check bosra.uk to find out all the details of when that is and all the results of races so far. Subscribe to this uh, video and this YouTube channel to get updates when we release the next lot of highlights, as well as any other videos that we put in. And like the video if you've liked it. Until then, see you next time. Thank you.